Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today we'll be playing another amazing episode of, I assume, amazing, I could be wrong, but I assume it'll be amazing because we're playing The Last of Us Part 2. It's been amazing so far. Why wouldn't it be amazing going forward? I don't know. Am I going to cry? You're going to have to find out. Take a second to like the video before we begin and we'll get on to that gameplay video. Enjoy! I did not enjoy that. I didn't like that they make you make the choice. Eesh. Wish I didn't have to. Hmm. Baseball bat with two or just kind of lame plank with three? I think we keep the baseball bat. What's in here now? Oh, a library! How quaint. Why does it sound like there's runners? And clickers! Alright. What do we got going on here? Okay, so it seems like they're all behind this door. This is kind of an interesting question. They can't open doors, can they? They're stupid, right? So they, they don't know how? Billy, oh no. Another patrol. And now there's patrol too? There's both at the same time? There. Appreciate it. You are. There's three of you. At least. Okay. Well, at least you are turned the other direction, so we will run to the grass. some dying sounds, so I think it's working out pretty well. Where are you coming from? there too but okay Let's see if we can get a little closer now I hear runner And now you're going back in there. Well, I mean, truly 
the definition of a so far so good. Yeah, you're way too far away for me to deal with this right now. But I do see you. Found them! Right here! have done great so far. Oh no, I just bragged. Well, I'm about to get messed up, aren't I? Oh no. It's always the pattern. Without fail. more than I'd like, but we still have refills, so we're, we're doing okay. Wait, I can craft more mines? Did you notice that I, I'm not tempted to use these ever? I wonder why. It's because I know I'm gonna blow myself up with a hundred percent certainty. Slushies! Man, I haven't had a slushie in a long time. Ooh, but pills. Always take pills that you find in an abandoned, dirty, convenience store bathroom. Take. Life lessons from Strange Replica Gaming. Uh, let's see. Uh, mm, I don't want to craft anything just to get that rag because we're not that low on health. Oh, that's good. I love that ammo. Hey, and I'm so glad I didn't just use a health pack. Okay, this was a pretty good convenience store situation. Take. Yeah. Good. Dina, move! Row is in my way! We got a lover, though. Nice! Happy with that white a bit. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Upgrade time. Okay, well, we've upgraded this nun, and I do like it. We've upgraded this one. I also like that. Upgraded this twice. Upgraded this twice. So what do we want to upgrade next? Fire rate, I don't love. Capacity would be a good upgrade. Just in general. Capacity would be good for the shotgun and especially for the rifle too. Although I think the rifle ammo is... Probably a little bit harder to come across. So, for the most part, we've come across the handgun ammo. Most. So, I say let's upgrade capacity on this guy. Yeah. Now, I'm just assuming that upping the the magazine on this upgrades our ability to carry more additional 
I don't know if that's the case, but... Okay, we could... Fire rate, fire rate, reload speed stability. Maybe stability, I think, for this one. Yeah, that'll be good. For when we're panicking and just shooting into nothing. We'll have slightly less recoil. Great. Perfect, okay. Happy with that, moving on. Now that we've cleared this area and the library, I would then follow up with saying, may, mayhaps, we should go... I'm lost. I knew I would get lost. Daydream. Have I been by that place before? Oh, let's read that note that we got. Fran, it's happening. Early Sunday morning. Keep your people off the streets, but careful what you say. If Isaac finds out I talked, I'm fucked. Whole thing should be quick. Not a lot of federal left in your neighborhood. As we clear neighborhoods, we're moving everyone to the base. People shouldn't freak. It's temporary. Helps us keep track of good guys versus bad guys. Can't wait to sleep in the same bed with you again. No more sneaking notes in that stupid studio. I don't know if she's if if she's a deserter or if she's a scrap. What are they called? Scarps? Carps? Scar <laughs> Forgot what they're called. Scars. Scars. If <laughs> I just call them carps. <laughs> oh no, that was, this is really embarrassing. <laughs> Scars. <laughs> I don't really know what group they're a part of. Did we already look at these? <gasps> oh! I didn't see that before! Leah! Is that what I thought that was? Oh no! Okay, well I do say before I play this game, this is an adult game. And I, I warned you. It's a little saucy for my PG-13 tastes. Okay, Jordan, Isaac's got us posted up on the... T uh, okay, we already read this. Scar spot in the area. Here's something to hold you over. Right, so that's what that was in reference to. Okay. The, uh... Oh, and that's why Dina whistled. Okay, it all makes sense now. I didn't quite see that at first. Okay. Hmm. Now, now where are we going? Did we go back in the bookstore already? I was looking for a map. so dark in here. Oh boy. Hustle, rise, repeat. Hustle culture, huh? Not my favorite culture. Okay, dirty gross bathroom. It's fine. Probably another dirty, gross bathroom. Also, always take pills that you find randomly stray on the counter in dirty, gross bathrooms. This is the rules. Now this is where we were, which is great. This is also where we were, which is also great. 
So... Oh! A card! Take. Dr. Stem! 100 brains! 40 brawn. Needs to work out. Real name? Opal or Upa Upal? Upal Roy. Losing both of her parents to cancer at a young age, Upal Roy threw herself into her science studies, determined to never let anyone experience the pain and loss she felt as a child. Now known as Dr. Stem, she collaborates with doctors and scientists around the world on life-saving and life-enhancing technologies. She also works with the Society of Champions to shut down Spark's more nefarious schemes with technology of her own. Her tenacity and refusal to accept defeat is both her biggest strength and greatest source of torment. That's relatable. For those of us who are of the type to not give up, even on things maybe we should be giving up on, Relatable. Hmm. Now, I've pretty much looked a I've been in this area, but I don't know that I've looked around. Those are boarded up, and we're running backwards again. Alright. I don't know if there's anything... Super important here. Oh! Look at this Pride Street! Do they have one of these in Seattle? For reals? We have one in West Hollywood. It's the best. It's just so fun, rainbows on the ground. Rainbows everywhere. Now... What I wanted was a map. That's what I was looking for. I see school. I know that we got away from the school, but this map is not detailed enough to help me figure out which areas I've cleared in this region. It's not Maybe we could head down there. stopping me from getting yeah. lost. You said head down there. Did you mean here where it's blocked off? Oh, we can go through there. Maybe we should go. Okay. This is the way we came and baseball batted that guy. So there's definitely some more to explore. But probably gonna hurt. We just climb down or just jump down that. Is there like a gentle drop here? A, that's a gradient. So this is that's basketball courts. Oh boy. I'm so lost. We've already come this direction, I know that much. But dry cleaners. We already went in the dry cleaner? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So then let's go down this. <gasps> a okay, that's a board. It doesn't look like it in the light, but yeah, that's boarded up. All right. Don't look up. Uh. 
Okay. Great so far. You are also a runner, so I will just gently approach you slowly, quietly. Don't look up. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna end your misery. Okay. Take. Why does this give me Trader Joe's vibes? I think it's the wooden shelves. Oh, and the hand-drawn signs. It's totally Trader Joe's. Wait, this is literally the Trader Joe's font. Quicker, over there. I don't remember. Can I stealth kill a clicker? I feel like it's not worth the risk. I just reach through the shell to grab it. Always be sure to reach directly through the shelf whenever you need anything. All right now. You seem to be alone-ish. So, what would happen if I... Just... Watch it! Was it moving? I thought they can't see! Help me! Dana! No. Are you screaming no? God damn. See, it's moments like that that confuse me because they, in theory, shouldn't have seen me. So maybe I do have to sneak up behind them. I just thought, because they don't have eyes. Let's see you. Anywho, moving on. Doing some more take, take, taking. Full on health pack, no. Sergeant Frost. 40 brains, 80 brawn. Edward Frost, Society of Champions. Once an ordinary soldier, Sergeant Edward Frost found himself the unwilling subject of a spark experiment. Infused with a mix of liquid nitrogen and radioactive material, he was left for dead by the scientists, but the cold put him in a state of suspended animation, allowing him to escape. Now known to the world as Sergeant Frost, he uses his cryogenic powers to aid the Society of Champions and seek justice against Spark. Now, do I need... I don't, I'm totally full on health. I don't even need to use half of a health pack, so... Oh well! What else? Oh, hello. Are you a pipe? You are. You're a pipe with full health. Health? Durability? Great. I will take that pipe. Alright. I'm pretty
pretty sure we just explored for the most part what's the dealio in here. And now, oh, do you ever feel like a plastic bag floating through the wind, longing to start again? It's a metaphor. Okay, so we were just in the Olive Street Market, which is great. What, what, what? Oh, he's right in front of me. All right, are we in short grass or tall grass? It's hard to tell. This is kind of sparse grass. It's not a great hiding spot, but... Gonna have to find a better one. Man, I believe this whole area is gonna be empty soon. I still don't understand why the fuck we're falling back. We're not falling back. We're getting called up. It took us months Over to there. secure this zone. That building. Higher ups know what they're doing. Probably. This can't count. It's uh, I see him! Uh, motherfucker! Uh, oh. Alex! Uh. <laughs> Jack! Dina! Get them! I've got your six! Go. Uh, get back! Uh. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Covered in blood. Come on. There you are. Well, I can't reach you with that because I'm out of ammo. Take that instead of the pipe because of the durability element. Okay. Do you think he's just gonna, you know, stay over there and I can just run around taking things? You think that's gonna ha what? Take. Gotta start using stuff, I guess.
Sardina? Take. Anything else fun in here? Practice, hard work, focus. And those are the elements of cheesy buzzwords. You might even call them the three horsemen of cheesy buzzwords. <clears throat> Ooh, perfect. What, that's the same door. I just opened you. Okay, did I already look through all of these shelves? Okay. Now I should be getting pretty close to this here. Yeah, there you are. Just the one. Yeah, if you could just turn around, that would actually be extremely helpful for me. Well, that doesn't really count as turning around. There you go. Don't you turn around. What? what? Stop it! It's kind of gross that Ellie's like, shh, quiet, and then immediately stabs him. Like, you don't need to tell someone to be quiet if you're about to make them quiet. All quiet. You good? Oh, good. Yeah. Now what? We gotta get through this checkpoint, Mom. Those buildings are on the other side. Look around. There has to be a way over. But first, there's stuff in here. Let's get up to the second floor. Oh, I need that. That's good. Great. That's good. Backwards walking. Full. Now? Oh, yeah, I'm still full. Alright. It's a good effort. What were we doing? Just looking around for for things? For stuff? To grab? I think so. Oh, okay. A uh, dumpster, but not for pushing. Good. So... If this wasn't the area that we were supposed to be going through and going over. Huh. Now I'm curious because this, see this area is just so expansive and there's so many different ways to go. I, ooh, hello. Take. Thank you so much. I, it makes me wonder If there's, if there's two different ways to get to the same thing, or if at the end of the day, I'm missing something. I don't want to feel like I'm missing something. What? Huh. Thank you. Because we came down from this area, but remember there was that kind of push gate over here that she was like, oh, let's go this way. What about down here? It wasn't over there. It was over here. And I feel like I'm gonna miss something. If I don't, at least investigate that area. 
It might be nothing. It looks stuck to me. But if it's not, I'm gonna be upset. I gotta get in there. Let's look around. So exactly what I was afraid of did exactly happen. So that's great. <laughs> good job, good job. Cool, 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 cool. Yep, it was blocked. So going back around to where we were in the first place, we will climb over, but with that ladder, I, I think is what we're supposed to be doing here. But now we gotta go all the way back. And we're gonna have to entertain ourselves while we're on our way back. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna sing a song? You never know. The last time that I was kind of just traveling, wasting time while I, I was joking around, uh, a big explosion happened and then the horse died. And that was really messed up. So, you know, this game, it's my job to entertain you all. But at the same time, sometimes I get punished for being entertaining. Yeah, we were just in that bank. Okay, let's oh, over over the ladder we go. <clears throat> up, up the ladder, up, up the ladder we go. <clears throat> you gotta press X. It doesn't just automatically happen. It's barbed wire. I'm not gonna wanna slice your hands open on that. Hey, I think it's this way. Would you say, this is the way? Is that what you would say, Dina? Just wondering, no reason. Aww. This little couple. Now, is there anything that I could craft? I'm full on pretty much everything. Oh, wait for her to, oh yeah, okay. If we do this, then we can, no, I don't want a mama top top right now, but we can grab those scissors, which is great. So now we are carrying a baseball bat that is five million times more lethal, which is great. When, you know, we're trying not to get murdered. In this, The Last of Us 2 world, where it's murder or be murdered. And those are the only two options. Man, there are so many nooks and crannies in this game. Were there this many nooks and crannies in the original game? Because it's feeling like a lot of nooks and crannies in this one. Backwards running. Oh, there's stairs. Okay. What is this? Orchards. Was I just in here? No, but it looks familiar. Any gross sink pills? No? Oh, I missed something, so I'm gonna backwards run. Take. Mm, what else do we have here? Uh, yep. I'll search this too. Yeah, great. Take that random counter medicine. Smoothies! Delicious! I mean, who doesn't like a good smoothie? Right? I was in here! I knew it! Just... Man, I get so mixed up when there's so much room! Was that really in? Why can't I take that? I already took it. Okay, Brianna, you. First day back streaming in a little bit and I just, I lose it. This is the place across from the bank. Why didn't I just go up the stairs in the first place? Why do you 
you all watch me? <laughs> oh, I just get all turned around and topsy-turvy. Bradley and partners. Oh, tape. Oh, I killed you. Yeah, from afar. I did that. I did that. Okay, so that's the way we're supposed to go, which means that if we don't investigate the upstairs, I'll feel like I missed out. So, even if it's blocked, up the stairs we go. It's blocked. Down the stairs we go. And through this next room. Isn't that kind of a beautiful shot? Look at the light through here. It's quite nice, actually. What else do we have here? Sure, I'll take that. Yeah, take that too. And I'll take that, and I'll take that. Yep, great. Should I reload? We're already full. Wow, we are stocked up. Do you know what that means? We are heading into disaster. Oh no. Oh no. a nice little balcony just for the view I guess <laughs> oh a little dragonfly that's kind of pretty oh okay so that's that turnstile great great okay. we got over we got over now what <sighs> now what Indeed. Oh, I will take that, actually. Yeah, we are, we are really stocked up here. Have some concerns. Have some questions. Oh, are we going up here? Hey, Dina. Okay. Yeah. Let's go then. Give me your hand. Yes, but first I just need to make sure, yeah, that I looked all. <clears throat> just had to make sure. It's fine. Hey. That looks that like a tower. Building. It looks like the TV station from your map. Yeah. Come on. <clears throat> Down we go. I don't know how I would have done all this without you. Look at you. Shut up. I never would have let you do this by yourself. I'm glad I'm here too. I just want. Hey, <laughs> what the fuck was that? I ran into a trap. A what? Explosive traps. Watch where you're walking. Me? Me? Watch where I'm walking? I'm not good at that. It means I have to walk on... Not grass. Ah, but then there's runners! I'm doomed. See, here I was thinking, if, if I don't put any traps down, I'll never blow myself up. I didn't think other people put traps down. <sighs> okay. We're just gonna go over here. And take... We're full. We'll come back for you. Okay, they probably didn't put any traps in this building, right? <clears throat> right? Right? What do they even look like on the ground?
Yeah, I think we gotta come back through here after we do some some uh, infected killing. A card! What do we get? <clears throat> Candelabra. 60 brains, 80 brawn, Sophie Aqua. You think that's Aqua or O-Coin? Very different feels. A beacon on the darkest night, this heroine earned her moniker when people first saw fire emitting from her hands and flowing through her hair. Originally from the volcanic Auvergne region of France, I was right, she fell into an active lava pool while protecting her little brother from Dr. Uckman's henchmen. Left for dead, she emerged from the pool alive and capable of wielding fire as a weapon, so long as she doesn't get cold. Wow, this feels like me. When not working with the Society of Champions, she spends her days hunting Dr. Uckman, whom she believes is holding her brother captive. Darn that Dr. Uckman. Or some might abbreviate that by calling him Druckman. As in Neil Druckman. Oh, that looks like a trap. That looks like a trap to me. You're gonna go this way. Very quickly cross this. What? Oh, they're both traps. What? Oh, come on. How am I supposed to get over them? What? You're not even crouching! D, now they're right there! Do I jump? Can I jump? That's not really a thing here. Oh, I gotta set it off from back. Yeah, okay. That's why there's bottles and stuff, huh? Okay, back here. Just get the bottle. Nailed it. <clears throat> I'm good at this. Don't run towards me. You don't want that for yourself. Don't you want to <laughs> Dina, could you crouch, please? Hide! Dina is ruining this for me. My immersion! Okay, well then, we'll just sneak a little bit closer now. <clears throat> you didn't see me. That didn't happen. Full stealth, baby. Okay. We're good. We got them all. Great. So good at this. I am good at this game. Stop. Oh boy. I think we gotta get down this. <gasps> I could, or I could climb this ladder because it's, it's yellow. Hey, hold on a second. And you know in Naughty Dog games, when you see yellow, you go barreling toward it, no matter the cost. No matter the cost. Take that, yeah, okay, take all this stuff. Yeah, take this note too. What does this note say? Um, this note is extremely vulgar, and I will not be reading it out loud. <clears throat> Someone very immature got very bored. Grandma Bree is gonna have some words with them. Okay. And back down the ladder. Any wolves? I didn't see any, but it's hard to tell. <sighs> All right, let's try not to kill ourselves while sliding down this slippery terrain. You want to slide together, Dina? She 
doesn't want that. Oh, shit, Ellie! Fuck. I'm okay. Are you really gonna act Mom. surprised by that? That can't be comfortable for your bum. It's gotta be distinctly uncomfortable to be covered in mud. I know, I know. It's an apocalypse. I don't want to think about that right now. And you don't think about comfort during the apocalypse. Might be a good way to deal with the hordes. Yeah, that'd be smart. But we'd probably blow up some stragglers. We put up signs, warning them. What if they can't read? We'll make drawings. You know, like a foot tripping over a wire and then big fire. Are you gonna building. draw it, Dina? <laughs> I like you. Oh. I want it in writing. Oh, they're so cute. I met this guy once, friend of Joel's. Trip wired a whole town. How'd people get around? It was just him. Wait, he lived alone in an entire town? We know who that is. He had trust issues. That's sad. He didn't always Kept live alive. alive. It's not like you have to choose between being alive and being close to people. It's not black and white. You take a risk though, right? You take a bigger risk being alone. But what if he got hurt? What if he got sick? What happens if someone else gets hurt or sick? You have this added, you know, burden that puts you in a worse position. Yeah, I guess that's it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what my take is on that. I think that being alone will kill you faster than anything else mentally because you have to have a reason to fight and we're social creatures it's our biological imperative it's our way that we've evolved it's in our biology we okay. belong with other people of our species who do you think it is uh, someone who wants us to feel her love. Yeah, that seems pretty you religious. Think she's related to the wolves? I don't know. It's kind of fucking weird. It is. She's got a scar, actually. Could she be a scar? Because she has a scar? Hmm. Yeah, on the being alone versus being with other people, I am decidedly in the be with other people camp. Because what is the point to being alive if you're alone? I'm an introvert and I still need people. I think that people who think they don't need people are really underestimating what the life Bill lived. Because again, he didn't choose to be alone. He wasn't always alone. Viv, I hope this gets to you. I saw what happened. The WLF broke into your place and carried out all the- Exposition! The WLF broke into your place and carried out all the stuff Jimmy took. Jewelry, IDs, ration cards. He wouldn't answer their questions, just kept sewing, saying he didn't know where any of it came from. I tried to talk to them, explain how hard it's been here. How Fedra forgot about us, and we've all had to do things we're not proud of. They seemed to calm down, then they found a seraphite prayer in his pocket. We tried to stop them. I'm so sorry. Rowl and Heather. Oh, I see. So Rowl and Heather are telling Viv what Jimmy did. And how the WLF punished Jimmy... Well, killed him, probably, for uh, aligning themselves with the Seraphites? Or even 
uh, on suspicion, which I, having watched the, the Last of Us 2 trailers, know about that. Sarah fights religious, I don't know. That's kind of vague so far, but we do know about them. So, so far we have the WLFs, the Scars, and the Seraphites. There's some, there's some big groups going on here. As well as Fedra, and as well as uh, Ellie's encampment, Jackson, right? So they're, they've, they've, social creatures, have formed these groups of rallied around what they value, what they believe, and who they think keeps them most safe. Which is interesting, uh, because it all comes back to fear, right? What do you fear? Do you fear starving? Then you're gonna go with the group who feeds you. Do you fear being alone? Then you're going to go with the group that has a good sense of camaraderie and community and togetherness. Um, do you fear lawlessness? Then you're probably going to align yourself with Fedra. Or do you not align yourself with any of that? You don't trust any of them and you kind of go off and do your own thing. A la Bill. It's kind of interesting. We don't know the full story yet, but that's kind of my first thoughts on that. You yeah, know, there's some dead people down here. Let's investigate what's going on here. Oh. These were all shot. Oh. I made it very clear. I did not want any more mm. dead horses. It's Tommy's. <gasps> In fact, it did a number on this one. Okay, there's no stuff in it. You okay? Yeah, sorry, it's just that smell. Ugh. All right. I must have taken off on foot. You good to keep going? Yeah, I'm fine. Please. Yikes, Ellie. Kind of aggressive the way you said, you good? Okay, yeah, so that's just that. <laughs> it was pretty gross. How'd the city get so wrecked? Boston wasn't <gasps> like this, was it? Boston didn't have a full-blown civil war. Fireflies never put up this kind of resistance. Not seeing anything too interesting on the other side here. So... I think we go up this way. I don't see any wolves. No. Not counter chickens, though. You see the TV station? Yeah, it's that way. Uphill. And that right there is where we're going to have to end today's episode. I wish we had all day, all evening to play, but we don't. We have to end it there. But don't worry, there will be more coming at you very shortly. I am doing my best to get content out as fast as possible when I can. As you all know, I have a lot of things that takes me away. I have a lot of other things on my schedule as an actress and voice actress and all sorts of fun stuff. So uh, thank you all so much for your patience. Thanks for hanging out with me and thank you for always tuning in for the next video, no matter how long it takes. I appreciate you all and don't you worry, I haven't abandoned any playthrough. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like the video. If you enjoyed it, share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And please remember to subscribe to Strange Rebel Gaming so you don't miss the next video. That's all. I love you all. Bye!